Okay, so, here we are again. Um, this is the second time that this has happened. And I'm not happy. But the thing is, this time it's for a different reason. I think the other time we just... Actually, this could be the same thing that happened last time. Well, doesn't really matter. The thing I'm thinking that happened was the fact that somebody forgot to press the recording button and we lost an entire episode. Now, the good thing is, that is, hopefully in any case, that is an episode where we did not do that much stuff. So, I'm, I was able to figure out what we, what we did in that episode uh, relatively fast. So, one of the things that we did was this quest over here. Kasha's Kidnapping. So, let me go and open up the map over here and show you what we did. So, we ended up the last episode being right over here. I did a lot of equipment stuff off camera, which of course you're not going to be able to see for now. We might be able to see it in, uh, like after this and when the actual episode starts. Uh, we started off over here. We talked to a Nopon. That's... Nope, that's wrong. Uh, there we go. We talked to a Nopon called Bokoko. We also talked to another Nopon merchant who would give you the monster quests. We also... I'm not sure if we did a couple of them. That I'm really not sure about, but I do know that we got them right there. Um... But when it comes to Kasha's kidnapping, I don't remember what... Ah, oh, dang, that's why I needed to have the wiki page open. Well, does it matter? Yes, it does. Give me a moment. Okay, there we are. So, this is the quest that we did in that episode. Uh, the scholar Kasha was carried off by the Ignas. It seems there is something they want to know. Go to Exile Fortress and save Kasha. So, the thing that we... Uh... I, I'm sorry. Shala also has a unique comment on this, which will be... This is serious, but what could, it, what could the Ignis possibly hope to learn from him? Then Bokoko... It, uh, it must be about that... About that big secret that Bokoko no know very much. An important secret? It sounds fascinating, but his safety is a top priority. So there we go, we got all that stuff. Or we got the quest in any case. Uh, then we went... On a little adventure. So I'm pretty dang sure that I went down this way, either by going over here or just waltzing on over here. I do feel like I went around, because I got this landmark already. So I'm pretty sure that I went down here and got this landmark. Then gone to the right. There's a unique monster over here. I'm not 100% sure if I fought him. So... I just don't know. You can fight him, he's only level 26, so it should be fine. And I don't particularly remember this guy being a pain in the butt. Then we continued moving over this way. Past the Baron Moor. Um, I also think I went down here to get this landmark over here. What was it called again? Uh, the Silent Obelisk. Then I went through the Dark Swamp. The Dark Swamp is an area where you take damage from the water in there, or like the... I guess the swamp water. Then I went up here, and at this spot I managed to get uh, the final piece for... If you take a look... The final piece for this quest. Mental Lost Sun, so the final thing which was the knife. Charleston's knife. So that's one thing that we managed to get over there. We are gonna finish off the quest in the actual video, you'll see. Uh, then I went back over here. Then I went over this way. I don't think I went up here, and if I did, well, I'm sorry. You can you can see the entire little map really. Like, <laughs> I know that we fight this boss, uh, like this. We're gonna fight a lot of unique monsters in the actual episode, so stick around if you want to see that stuff. Then we went over this way, over to landmark number 5, which is the glowing obelisk, where there will be a cutscene playing, so future me, if you would be so kind as to show the cutscene. This lamp, it has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of the High Hyentia. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good for them. It's the perfect place to get some shut-eye. The lamp will keep the monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. The breeze feels so good. It's so peaceful. 
You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. to change it. The future. Has it been that long? Dixon. Fourteen years since I found you on that mountain. Seems like yesterday. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day, I wouldn't be here now discovering the world. Forgive me, Shulk. Sorry I couldn't save you folks. Don't be. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. This might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. I don't remember much at all. But I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. At least, that's how I used to think of it. That's why I want to discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. But so far, I've just been creating piles of Mechon scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all? This sword... There must be some way. Finally decided to join us, Shook. Sorry, guys. Didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? We'll be there soon enough. The high end of your ruins are just ahead. Okay, so after that entire cutscene thingamabob, we decided to go down this away. Um, I'm not sure, once again, I'm not sure if I fought this unique monster, but over here is a unique monster called Swift Zectoral, level 28. That should still be fine. Over here you have the Igna Territory, uh, where you can find, find, or fi find and or fight aggressive Cornelius. Uh, now comes the interesting part. So, if I remember it quite right, I, instead of going to the back passage, which is the easy way to go and save Kasha, you could also just go and barge in through the front door of this entire fortress. This is the Exile Fortress, by the way. Um, I decided to go to the front door because I was... I was, in, I was thinking about... Seeing about fighting a Reckless Godwin, level 31. This is a unique monster that it does not matter in whatever I do. In almost every single one of my playthroughs up until this point, I could not beat this guy without being a couple of levels higher than him. I could not. If you can, please, if you... If you have the tools available, show me how to do it, because I don't know. And yeah, I, I just couldn't beat it, so... I decided to go to the entrance, I beat all the enemies that are in there, because it's like one giant throne room filled with enemies. I decided to go and take care of the enemies first, I did that. And then I decided to go and fight the unique monster. So what happened? I seem to remember having a very intense battle with that thing. And then at the end of the battle, when he was almost dead, he just decided to flick the fuck you switch. And then he just murdered my entire party. And I was ridiculously... I was... I was mad. I was really mad. That was... that was not fun. I was really mad at that, but... Oh well. Uh, we'll beat him later on. So then we go over here, we got Kasha. Then we went back over to... This place, or over to another place, I don't... I don't even properly remember. But I do remember that that's all the stuff that we did, basically. Or at least I think so. I hope so. According to my document, that is all the stuff that we did. Might have done something else in that episode, but I have no idea. When it comes to quests, we don't do anything else, and when it comes to exploring areas, well... You can find maps like these everywhere online, so... It's not that... Like, it's not that, uh... 
I don't even know what the hell, man. I don't even know how to speak anymore. You know what? I don't care. I managed to explain everything that I wanted to explain. So normally, right? I think every. Okay. Yep, that's it. So, let us resume our usual program, shall we? Without... <sighs> Without video losing. <laughs> well, yeah, it was probably our own fault, but still, I don't care. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the episode. Goodbye. Oh! Uh, walk in place. Ow! <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Yeah. So you want to defeat the unique monsters, right? Yeah. Three, two, one, and hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cinema Chronicles. Last episode I did some Tycho stuff, explored a bit of Saturn Marsh, got beaten by, what's his face? Regulus Godwin. Yeah. On a really stupid way, because I actually thought I had a chance of winning, but the guy just gave me the middle finger like at the end of the battle, so yeah. Where do we, go? Oh. we are gonna go back to Colony 9 because I decided to do it this morning, make an entire guide for the freaking unique monsters and every single unique monster in the game. And now we're gonna go and hunt down the ones that we missed. I want you to go to Cliff Lake. It's down to the right. Maybe. Or up? No, there, right to the left. You see Cliff Lake? So go oh, over yeah. to that landmark and jump just down and then swim back. Yeah. Then just swim over there. Love the music. There are two unique monsters over there. One is level 6, the other one is level 10, and they're both spawn only in the day. There's one unique boss that you're not allowed to fight. Because okay. that one is needs to be defeated for a quest. And otherwise we'd have to like reset the game a couple of times for it to find the game. I don't know specifically where they are, but they are somewhere around here. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we came here and we fought them at the level that you're supposed to fight them at, then we would have been able to see them pretty easily because they're gonna be high level. But yeah, right now everything is gonna be like this. One of them is a crabble and the other one is one of those uh, rabbit things over here. I think that the unique monster is probably gonna have like an icon that is gonna see you. Like it's gonna attack you on sight. Yeah. Or it's just a big guy over there. That one seems a lot bigger than the rest, so I think that's the one. Yep, that's the one. Wait, what's the name? It. Um, itinerant. Or it, it, itinerant do door. Yeah. Let's get this done and dusted. You can kill him. Don't get careless, guys. You know what I really like the fact that you switched to Nice one, right? That is really nice. Oh, yeah. Did you like that? Run. That nice. was a beauty. There we go. Infinity coin, which is right. which is what we needed from this. Yeah, that's the only reason why we're gonna go back to this one, guys. Just for Infinity coin. That was easy. Yeah, there should be a bonnet around here somewhere. Who is also a bonnet. Like that, uh, yeah. I think it's not exactly. Bloody junk. Two over there. Oh yeah, we thought that your controller was kind of bugged. Like not working properly. I'll go back, that's the dangerous place. Yeah. I think it might be on that little mountain uh, to the left over here. I'm sticking to the left of the wall and it should be probably at the back of that. Yeah. Make a uh, butler sense to me, really. So that that is in, in the little group down there. Probably the one that has an eye icon. Oh uh, no, that's just a junk rabbit. Ah, rabbit. Maybe hmm. in that group over there. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Video Rams High. Oh, yeah, this one's there. mine. Don't get careless, guys! Ha! Right, I'm feeling it! Sweet! Ha! Almost done! 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 
Now we jump down. Alright. Uh, yeah, he's wrong. Turn around for me. I flip around, I'm sorry, to the other side. Is there a beach over here? No. So then it's gonna be that beach. It's probably gonna be this beach. Turn it to uh, 5 o'clock. A monster around here. Yeah, it's, it's a bird monster. So you're right, maybe. It's gonna be on the beach. He's gonna be on the beach. So. Those are fish. Those are armors. Turn around. Think we're going too far away from the yeah. yeah. There are some birds over there, but those are not monsters. Anymore. We can lock on the enemy. Go to the end of the beach. There are those types of birds, though. It's not, it's not like a farm. So okay. You should stick it in run. Or you just swoop them. Like that. The guide or the, the wiki just said that he's gonna be on the beach east. Of the thing there. there he is, let's go flying down. Let's get this done and I've also noticed when Don't get careless guys! Yeah, this you don't have a lot of time, as you can see. Maybe try pulling the time like to 4 o'clock maybe instead of yeah. 5 o'clock. Let's see if this works. <gasps> Is it the one to your left? No. no. Okay, turn it to 5 and uh, have fun. Trying to beat as fast as you can. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't take too long. You're like 10 levels higher than him or something. Maybe 12 even. Alright, go and fuck him up. Yep. I'm Let's really thinking about... ...synchronizing the controller with your... Uh, we can I've noticed that when I'm selecting arts or doing something else, like every now and then, the D-pad just does something wrong. Hmm. And when it comes to switching around with enemies, yesterday I was like, I was walking around, pressing the Z button constantly, I was pressing the D-pad and it wouldn't move. That's weird. Okay. That's the reason why. Alright, going right to feed it on this one also. And now, where have to uh, that is it for Colony 9. Go over to Castle Cave. Uh, these ones are all marked on the map, so I'm going to go back. Mm, the maps, the controls. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. God. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's always going to be there. Alright, um, we need to find and fight. I think we fought Mining Patriot before, and Cellar Bugworm is the one that I defeated. Was like Greenery was for a quest. Mm -hmm. Those three are already out of the list. Mining Patriot, I wasn't sure if we defeated him, but I know his place now, which means that we have defeated him. Same goes for uh, Cellar Bugworm. Okay. Um, go over to Vilia, no, not Vilia Lake, let's go over to this place. Definitely. After turn it to night, and then there should be a unique monster somewhere around this day. Yes, because at night matters in this freaking dank cave. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. I think it might be that like crabble. Yep, that's one. Solid color. Let's get this done and dusted. Don't get careless, guys! Days, like days? You do a daze? Did you see what I did? Shock does a daze? Wasn't really looking. It's fucking amazing. Alright. That's it for him. I do. Yeah, but it's not. It's just aesthetically. Okay, so that's all the out of the way. 
We probably already marked it on the map. And I have to go and fight Gluttonous Eugen. Go to the video lake. From this point over, I'm also gonna like, when we're done with an area, when I think we're done with an area, I'm also gonna uh, go and like tell you which Munich monsters are still left to fight. It's the Brock over there. Boom, boom, and now lock them to the wrong target. What a pain. This is our target. No, I don't. Too short when kind of you did choke! Um the other thing I'm tip I'm gonna give you is try to keep arch like um topple or break or phase or whatever. Yeah. Try to hold on to them in that reason. Especially for Shara, because Shara's arch come back in a real slow rate. Yeah, so okay. Getting yourself some rough skin. Some of the rough, the roughness of my skin. That's it for Tefer Cave. I'll have to take a look. There is another monster quest to beat me on the next side. Go to Bionis Leg. And here comes an annoying one. You can also fight a challenging one. Oh, I can do all of them. <laughs> Yeah, sure, you can go and beat this level 90 Immovable Gonzalez. Oh yeah, sure, that will be... You're gonna get close to him and he's gonna kill you with a spike alone. <laughs> so no, that's not a good idea. Um, you need to go for the Gower Plain. It's the eastern part of Gower Plain during the rain and thunder. So you have to initiate a rain and thunder oh boy. weather effect, which sucks. I thought it was gonna rain for a second. It's not spread, but it's so dark, so... First, see about getting to the eastern part, maybe. So open up your map. Let's see what they mean with east, though, because I don't really know. Yeah, east is like... <laughs> what is east? East is like over there. Over there somewhere? Okay, that's the place where they even move, uh, like, so, the territorial um, robot just running around. Just follow the... This way? How about you first see about engaging a uh, rain or thunderstorm? Uh, yeah, if I can time or... Okay, so just go to the left, don't follow the river. Like, when it says east of Gower Plain, I'm pretty sure it means like... Yeah, like a big area, not the river. I don't know. You need to turn it... You, make, you need to make it rain first. Make it rain. Wicked says that it needs to be rain or thunder, but not now. <laughs> perfect, that's the one, the big boy, with the two holes. My god, that's perfect. Don't forget to lock on. This is our target! This is a lovely thing when you always say that I'm to you. Get close, you can do if Shara would have had like one of the really good arts, sure, or she could like one shot on the other. Not long now. We took this victory together. Cool. Let's keep this up. Nice. That's really handy though. Like, no? I didn't I'm always scared of the ones that ask me to change water. They can sometimes take a bottle of water to scare. I think that's all defeated. Uh, wanna do a challenge? Sure. Go over to Daksha Shrine. Should be able to see him anymore. It's pretty hard. Okay, you're right. Oh, okay. Remember the place where the red item was? And I was like, hmm, don't get that. And then you're gonna get attacked by a monster. This is a monster. Okay. It's a level 32 unique monster, so you're gonna get. It's gonna be. Alright, if you grab the red item in the back, you will be attacked by a big ass spider. 
cool. And that's level 32. What's his face? What's his face? Clifflock Baron. There he is. Oh. Alright, fine. Have fun. You can take him. This is the power of the Monado. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. You're really getting into this, right? Almost, man. My life is getting hotter. Alright. Kill bullet. He's the one. Kill bullet. Kill bullet. Kill bullet. Kill bullet. Kill bullet. Kill bullet. Kill Oh, everybody dies. Okay. Yeah, the new bosses tend to have pretty nasty things going for them. Go over to. Now, to, 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 to. We're not done yet. Okay, up. Can you run? 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 Can you Oh, Ryan might fall off. Oh, that's... So I'm gonna... Um, try to see if you can topple the guy. That would be quite handy. Dose the healing! Shulk, you're next! Leave no it to idea me! Yeah, Ryan is fall off because he's seen to switch over to Shulk. Oh boy! Alright, um, see about doing it, I think, Ryan. No, the one next to it. You really don't side attack it. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It really bad. sucks because, um. Oh my god, Ryan did not die. That's amazing. Ryan didn't die. So that's cool. oh, yeah. So it's managed to, uh, to break him and then pop him. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, don't forget to pull your gun. Oh. Dive in pack 3 of course. Alright, Shulk, are you gonna use Monado Watch or are you gonna be hitting it? Come on! The future is ours to decide! Back that! Go over to Shulk and press the B button. Alright! I'm feeling it! Use the Monado Watch, shield. This is bad! That is where that comes from. Now we're working as one! Don't give him an inch, Ryan! There we go. You see, if you didn't do that, you would have taken all the damage and the base. Good to go. 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 Let's go! Okay, um... Try breaking the top of the game again. Hear that? Um... Alright, now we can leave him. Leave it to me! You want to be right? Leave again. It's not over yet. Okay! Baze him again. Okay. Okay. Now we have double baze. Let's just keep him going. Again, keep up, again. Keep up, keep up again. Good, 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 good. Keep him base. Nice, stop him again. Stop him again. Stop him again. Stop him again. Now we're working as one. Okay, now pull up the gun. Okay. So if you didn't catch that, you didn't catch that. Good to go. We're starting to look like a team. Alright, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Come on, Charlotte. Handshake wedge. Nice. Now! Oh, lucky, we might be able to get that chance at going. Yes, dude, yeah, go, 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 go. Wait, okay. just spam the A button. Did it. He's about to do an attack after this, so we might want to be careful. But I think if you top him, he's going to be able to do it, so. Yeah! You're up! Okay, my turn! Pesty thing! Not bad! We're counting on you! Okay, better than nothing. How about you, but you don't need to beat up anybody anymore because everybody's really freaking fire right now. 
Without a healer or without Charla, you would just get screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Keep can you extend the uh, okay. back again? More daisy. And again. Hey, not so fast. Ryan shield oh, no, bash. Oh, no. This one to the left. Oh. Left! Oh. Uh -huh. oh. We did it! We're counting on you! Let's keep this up. Yep. That should be good. Yeah. You guys say I'm quite surprised that you don't know the difference between left and right. Yeah, I was thinking for a second. <laughs> oh. oh, I got two weapons. We didn't even see what they were. That would have been handy to know, really. Just now. Um, okay. That's it then. I'm surprised you managed to beat him. I usually fuck this one up. Okay. Oh, uh, but I don't know. Back to Saddle Marsh. Go back to the Napon camp in Saddle Marsh. And finish off the quest that we were doing or whatever. We're gonna do a unique boss hunting later. Right now we're just gonna focus on the, the quests. You can also, like, at the end of this episode, maybe you can give uh, Reckless Godwin a try if you want to. Yeah, may help. As we saw with the other boss, like the other unique boss just a second ago, he has like a dive impact which just damage around him and then also inflicts days. And the other boss has the same. But the thing is, the, the Reckless Godwin has the thing when he attacks everybody, everybody gets toppled. And then he also has a move after that, which can instantly kill somebody, somebody who is toppled. That is his strategy. Or his trump card, I'd say. Oh this, every, every single unique boss has a trump card in him. One way or another. Okay. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, talk to this guy. Well, yeah. That's what I want you to do, yes. Kasha just came back. But it looked like Kasha told Digna's secret. Makoko just got Kasha safe. Good, it was our pleasure. Shala, you're a medic, right? Makoko no know what Ignis want to know. Coco just feels so happy you saved Kasha. There you go, got a jungle outfit. Oh, Henry's right. friend, got a new achievement. And Ryan just learned new art. If you would be so kind as to take a look at that new lovely art. Let's see. Which one is it? It is Dive Savat. A paralyzing kick, use after bone upper to reduce the enemy agility. Oh. Which is... Okay, so here comes the moment where we have to choose. Okay. So you either... Uh, you have to change the arch a, bit, a little bit, but like for instance Warspring on the other side. Uh, but now you have to choose. If you want to use Dive so bad, I usually have it, I think. Mm -hmm. But I don't have uh, any of the freaking auras. But I've noticed how useful the auras can be right now. So now it's your choice. Do you want to hold on to the lock on aura and last stand? Which are both really useful, of course, because lock on just gets the aggro instantly. And last stand is really, as we saw last episode, can really save your butt sometimes. Even though I got fucked eventually. But yeah. Mm. 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 
I think I'll just want to stick with this for now on. Mm -hmm. If uh, for now. No, sure. It's good. That is no problem. Wait before you talk to anybody. Talk to Bokoko, not Kasha. Don't even dare talk to Kasha. And press the B button. Oh, so you're still in menu, of course. Alright, there we go. Bokoko want to, want to make camp, but uh, no have enough materials. Bokoko ult needs an arm sword, Bokoko no can get it. How were you? Yeah, it does sound quite bad. You all look young and strong. Bokoko wants you to find Betty. Bokoko gives you reward. Bokoko just want to want to rest his own bones. Not gonna so fluffy anyway. Can't you just sleep out or sleep as you are? <laughs> That's not good. Grant you're not comfortable. Bokoko sometimes wants to sleep with soft duvet like Hong Kong. I suppose so. Traveling is so tiring. I miss my nice stuff, that too. <laughs> Do you even sleep anymore? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Maybe Bokoko should think about retiring soon. I just need soft bed now. You can count us, we'll get it done. Don't forget about me, so I go. Yeah, so like the one, one that I already read a couple of times. Okay, we have multiple. I nope. Switch to someone yeah. else in the oh. party. Like, if you want to. Yeah, but just to get the affinity up. Maybe. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Like as long as as long as nobody has maximum affinity, it doesn't matter. To me, in any case. Okay. It makes battling with a different party a little bit harder. Because they're not gonna be as accustomed to each other, but at the same time. Like I said, as long like from the moment that Ryan and Shulk are getting uh, have max affinity, yeah. then I don't want Ryan and Shulk to be in the same party. Yeah. Especially the thing is, um, if you want to build affinity with one specific character, mm -hmm. then you have to have that character in front. So if I have Shulk in front, I will be having a lot of things with, with Ryan, because I'm going to be helping him during battle. Every yeah. single time you encourage somebody, it's going to be like the character you're using right now with somebody else in the battle. Yeah. And also uh, when you're talking. When yeah. you're doing quests and like, that people talk with you, it's only the lead character who gets to talk with and another character from the group. But the two other characters from the group don't interact with each other basically yeah and i find it i don't find a bad idea to, to get shala but well, you can of course have dunban it doesn't matter as much the thing is dunban is not really super equipped right now because we don't have good armor for him to equip a lot of gems with him and because like, he does he, he is a good character but he doesn't have the agility gems that he would normally need to, to be able to tank the amount that i want him to tank okay see while well, like right now i gotta say ryan the way that we made him right now don't talk to kasha when we made Ryan the way he is right now, he ha he's probably like the best tank right now. I don't think I've ever managed to make rank, uh, Ryan a good tank, but right now he is. He's a good one. Alright, so what do you have to do? You have to collect... What? Four... No oh yeah, you can also go and finish up that one quest in Colony 9 with the old lady. Oh yeah, you found all these parts. Yeah, go, did it. go do that first. This quest is gonna be a pain in the ass to complete. <laughs> Jesus, very good, nice. Close click. No, the thing is, I, I cannot go high anymore. I have no idea why. Like from yesterday evening, also, my voice just gets just screwed up. <coughs> and I have no idea why. Well, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the heat and the pollen and the, and the diseases. And <laughs> I think I remember. During the day on the scaffolding. Yeah. Or on the higher thing. Is it this way? She's up there normally, so I have to go to the left and you have to climb the stairs. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you have to turn into day. You ran past the stairs, there you go. Hey, I can see the bloody stairs. Just gonna walk over there and then. Uh, you are going away from the place where she is. Really? Yes. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't doubt my 
freaking knowledge about this game. Because <laughs> usually it's right. There's no question, this is my son's armor, gun, and, and knife. He saved up so hard to buy them. I remember how he smiled when he changed into his new armor. I have no choice but to accept it. Nothing will bring my son back. But at least some part of him has returned to the place he grew up. For that I am very grateful. Good, it was a pleasure. Right, it was well worth the effort. Okay, I was thinking that I was gonna say something really like, not sensitive. On behalf of both my son and myself, thank you very much. There we go. And we get ourselves the Bomber Lancer. Which is another Lancer for Ryan. Take a look at the weapons for a second though, because we're gonna get some weapons from that mini monster in the Take a Gandor. Let's have the party stuff in the middle. Equipment. You can press the A button on this character, and then you can take a look at their weapons. And the Rayon Pike. That was the one in the front, the Bomber Lancer. Uh, how about you give me the control stick? I'll go and check this out then. Yeah, that might be a bad idea. Alright, so the thing is, we have uh, strained up on this thing, so. Uh, the same damage, more ether defense, less tiny amount of less physical defense. As you can see, you see like right now with the normal we have like 462 in between like 462 and 637. Yeah. If I equip this one, the 462 turns into 492, so it's just better. Just better. Hmm. How does it look actually? Interesting, I guess. Oh, cool. It only has one slot, however. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna give him a strength up on this weapon. I'm gonna de equip another gem. Um, let's see. Which gem is not bad? I guess I'll just get rid of one of these ones. And I'll equip the uh, aggro up, because the aggro up is really important. Oh, aggro up can only be equipped on the weapon. Alright. It's gonna be the aggro one that goes on the weapon. And then it will be the strength one. Or maybe, you know what? True. I'm just, I'm just gonna make him a tank right now, just like mainly tanking. I'm not gonna increase his damage that much. For time being, we can change the later on though. Yeah. Let's see, because we got some weapons. The Dynasty. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing is just better. The thing is, it, it's better, but it does has, have like it's a unique weapon, which means I don't have this night vision gem, mm. and not a gem that I want to have like aggro up, Ag because aggro up is really important. I've noticed. So I'm just gonna leave this weapon right now. Uh, do we have a replacement for the Monado, perhaps? No. Uh, we have the Quitter. Which is first attack plus. It doesn't isn't that much better than the stuff he has right now. We did get what's his front armor? HP up. I think it's like early game armor maybe. Because we did defeat a couple of early game uh, yeah. unique monsters. So. We have the jungle cat that we can give him, which is just better and that's a spot. The only thing is it looks kinda weird. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'd rather have slots and look a little bit weird than have no slots at all. If you don't mind. Uh, do mind. Let's see, quark stuff, uh, cult stuff, which is worse. Iron language is also not good. Uh, we have jungle shoes, which is gonna be better. Just a jungle set. <laughs> Half of the jungle set, really. Let's get rid of this one, and let's take a look. So we got the iron one, which. Uh, this increases agility, which I want. But I really, really want. Let's give him. Samajirati! You know what, now that, here, now that we are here, we might as well see if I can make more agility gems. Sure. Because right now we only have like level 1 agility gems on him, which is really, really bad. If I can't make any, then so be it. But... Let's see, Gato's Rifle. Uh, we have the Breeze Shot, which is better than Gato's Rifle. <laughs> but that's less thoughts, though. And it's not that much better, so I think I'm gonna keep Gato's Rifle for the time being. When it comes to armor, there's nothing new, I don't think so, in that case. Maybe the passive stuff, I think. No. There's nothing else that I can really replace with, no. Uh, gem. I do find it kind of annoying, I always have to go back to the next gem. But the loading times aren't that horrible, anyway. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I have any more agility. Gen gem. Agility gem, two gems. Not agility, uh, I don't have any more wind crystals, basically. I've used all of them up, so... Alright. Then we'll have to deal with it like this. Um, you have to go over to... 
Uh, Southern Wash, because you're gonna have to do a buttload of farming right now. Yay! Oh god. I remember this quest, and this quest sucks. Alright, wait. Go over to the first one. This one? Or maybe. Mm, yeah, sure. Let's go over, go over to the first one. Um, you have to go forward, and you have to look for. Acid Upas. Acid Upa. Yep. Acid Upa. Acid Upa. I don't know what you're trying to do. I thought you were like, like trying to make a reference to Pokemon, but nah. Yeah. Acid use Upa. No, no Upa use Acid. This one should be the one. Yeah. Kill him. Let's Kill him. Get this don't get careless, guys! Yep. This one's like Help them, I find it funny that once Pikmin still gets a chance, he instantly buffs himself with some other skills. Which I find really funny. My god, Ryan got instantly fired up. It's really good that means that Ryan is just gonna be. And there we go! Who else wants Sticky Muckus. And more Sticky Muckus. You need four glowing Upa Seeds from these guys, so you're gonna have to get four silver chests. Or get lucky. Um, I want you to go and do a trade with Kasha. Don't talk to her, trade with her. You know what uh, Kasha is? Yeah, but, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. The Nopon! That's great. Me? Me? Wait at you. Alright, uh, go for three items. Lemon stones. These are okay. the one things that we need. Or do we? No, we don't. Hmm, that's peculiar. Okay. How about you go back for a second? Don't trade for the lemon stone. Go back to the normal item. Uh huh. Just craft claw and over trade. So go to the collectibles and just get the one with the highest number. Good. Good. Oh, what's this pretty glowiness? We'll treasure this. And you get fancy wolf hide. That's all we needed. Times. One more. <laughs> you, only have, uh, you only need one more of these, which is good. Me? And now comes the shitty part. <sighs> Let's go over to this one. Let's go back. We still have to find that one stupid item in column 6. <laughs> Let's take a look at Shuffle Mark. Don't get you any time. Um, I want you to go and do something. I want you to go and farm items. So, you need uh, four leather leaves. This item can be found in wet areas at night. The Kelsher Wetland, the Basin Cave, and Zaldania Waterfall. Kelsher Wetland is this area. So, we're going up okay. to the map. I'll just go and show you a ride on how to go, maybe. Let's go up to the map of Stephen Marsh. Is this Stephen Marsh? No, this is Stephen Cave. Shut on Marsh. Shut on Marsh. Don't read the names, by the way, of these things. These are the names of areas. Oh. Do I not have a map of fucking Southern Marsh? I should have one. Yes. Okay. So, um... Kelsher Wetlands, the first one, of course. You can go over to here, get these items. It needs to be night. Okay. When you've collected the items in here and in here, mm -hmm. um, then you can continue going. Let's see. What's this thing saying? Uh, oh, what's this thing? Oh no, it's the left one. Uh, Kelsh Redland Basin Cave and Zaldania Waterfall. So, Zaldania Waterfall is over here, so you have to first go over here, then get the items over here, then go to Zaldania Waterfall. There is a unique monster over there if you want to fight it. Yeah. And then, if you want to get the best place to farm them, basically, you have to go all the way over here. But then you have to continue the story, basically. So. Okay. 
While you're doing that, I uh, will go and look up if we can get this thing somewhere. If we can trade for it. In some kind of a way. The feather leaves. Yeah, you can trade it with, uh, you can trade with Daza. In Colony 6, we need 3 stars of affinity with Colony 6. Which we don't have. And that is the shitty part then. <laughs> the comments. This is hands down my least favorite item in the fucking game. I've always gotten fucked by it sing every single playtime. <laughs> every single time I played this game. And I've played this game like, six, like 15 times. Alright. Walk, right? Walk three hours at night and it wouldn't drop for me. Am I doing it wrong? Hmm. I like the fact that some people are saying, like, hey, it can also be found over here. It can, f it can be found everywhere, but the thing is. It has the highest amount of chance in these areas. <laughs> uh, it's to the left, I think. The unique monster, watch out. But you don't aggro the unique monster, whatever the hell it may be. Because if you aggro the unique monster, the other guy from level 70 will come and beat your ass. It's a hard part between Shock and the Man at night. There should be a unique monster around here, right? Maybe only during the day. During the day, yep. That is right. You want to fight it now, or you're just gonna leave it and come back later? Mm. It's a level 25 one, so it really shouldn't be too difficult. You don't even need to dig up your quick jump. Quick step jump. Yeah. And during the day, we don't have the. Yep, please keep it. We don't have the killer birds. Mm. There he is. Oh. Probably him. Or at least one does. Many guys. Oh. Let's see. Um, continue targeting until you get the right one. There he is. That's the one. Okay. Draw a rocket in his face. Bring his finger close enough. And begin. Let's get this done and dusted. All right, just wait a second though. The guy needs to die down first. I hate these things. Like, I hate these things. Alright, and do whatever you do when you fight these monsters. The handy thing is, this guy is a big pole. <laughs> I was like, this is actually gonna do chain attack at the, the enemy's almost dead. Why not? Though? Well, indeed, why not? This is my mind. Let's get this done and dusted. You did do that. Don't get careless, guys. Because I didn't get any echo. Yeah. Around here. Okay. Back to the place you Again. Good for muscle gems. Okay. Go past, no, uh, go past the, the round part in the middle of the day. I've already gone over here and got an item last episode. Go past this thing. And then... Um, 
You see like the two darker spots on your map, like the lines? Somewhere in the middle that should be really close. It's probably the one with the blue icon. There's like a lot of black, a lot of black stuff and there's one with the blue icon in the middle. That's yeah. what I mean. He only appears over here when it's the uh, clear weather. When there's no fog. I think when there's fog there's like another unique monster over here, it's gonna be like 10 times this time. <clears throat> Amber for sure. Look at the real name. Alright, let's do this! Everyone! Do your best! Now, rip through the air! Well done! Fire to the Oh yeah, baby! Nice one! Guess I gotta try harder! Fire! 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 Good to go. Anyone on the field? Uh, now. Uh, uh, Do it three times, please. Head shaker, Ryan. I know, I know. Now, Shook, you're up. Leave oh, it to me. This will leave a mark. Shake your edge. It's not over yet. My I'm turn. I'm not continue doing damage right now, but mm. it doesn't matter what you do with Charlie. It's not, you're not going to be able to combo with Ryan. Just do the Thunderbolt. Eat this electric round. Physical art to grind. Chance. We're not finished yet. Sword drive. Sword drive. Okay. And then backslash with. Leave it to me. Backslash. Not bad. I think this is Nebula. Anytime, any place. Backslash. Uh, we got the attention of the guy from uh, from using the okay. But of course, the Thunderbolt is effective. Like, so we should use the Fire! How about you use the Thunderbolt? Uh, uh, I know it's bad to come up with me. What a bunch of jokers! We make a great team. From Nebula, you do get some interesting stuff, like elemental fragments you get. Yeah. Are some of the best, like, shit items in the game. Huh. Alright. Continue. Turn it to night again to get the yeah. uh, items we need. Big ass turtle. Yeah, but this one's red, so. Nah. Oh, it's a lantern. Yeah, that's where the last story gets in. Yeah. Happens. If you want to die, then you can go up there, but I suggest that you don't go up there. Like up there? Like following this road up there. It's gonna kill you. Oh, this. No, you have to go underneath. You don't have to go upwards. See what I mean? So you can, you can, for instance, go to the right, you can climb a hill. And if you go up there, there's gonna be like level 80 enemies. Not a battle attack you run here, We have to move fast because the water is still in the line. 
If you got enough wind in this game, but you do it, so you sure as hell have uh, the water currents to deal with. And even if they fight, you can do it in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can Go and get the shit. There we go. I'm actually quite surprised at how decently well the commentary is going for this playthrough. Yeah. I'm not super excited, but I don't need to be really. Not if there's nothing exciting to be seen. I think in any case. I'd rather be chill like this, or instead of being like stressed out as usual. So I think like, this is once again that. that you know. Don't take the high roads. The high road, the high road, the high road. The high road will kill you. The high road will find you and it will kill you. Merry coronation. Mauk Floodgates. Continue going forwards. Stairs. No, not stairs. Slope? Slope stairs. The Sororal Statues. Hard to hard between two people that we don't know. And time for story. Finally. The upper regions are through that entrance. You gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis head, just above Magna Forest. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. Medic, will you stay with them? I... I want to help Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him for me too. Good luck. Sharla, I want to go with the Tharon. Are you sure? Yeah, I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mekon with the Monado. But I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. <laughs> it's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. But that's cool, because I know what I can do. I'm going to go back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their lives. You'll do us proud, kid. Good luck, Juju. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mekon may be gone from Colony 6 now, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of them. When they launch another attack, and they will. Colony 9's gonna need my help. Yeah. I guess you're really needed at the colony. This ain't the last you'll see of me. You should be all right for now. Look after the Monado. You can bet on it. We won't let the colony down. You'll make us proud, Shook. You, on the other hand, need to buck up your ideas. How else are you going to protect Shulk? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dixon. Good luck. See ya. <laughs> Dixon has the best old man voice. Yeah. <sighs> Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. What's that you say? Oh, just mumbling. Forget I said anything. Don't you find it interesting what he just said? Yeah, it was good. Okay. I was wondering, like, did he notice what he said? <laughs> Dixon is keeping something from us. Help to reconstruct Colony 6. Juju wants to restore Colony 6 to its former glory. Visit Colony 6, maybe there's something you can do to help. Go to Colony 6 during breaks in the story. Or in the middle of the story. <laughs> like I will be doing sometimes. Uh, don't. 
go over to a little bit further maybe? Oh no wait, no, go to the left. Go where those two pillars are, in between those two. After you're done with that, I want to end up the episode and I'm gonna be doing farming in that cave basically. Okay. That's gonna be my farming spot. I mean, cabbage. I think we, have, we already have one wool rock, which is really good. But we need three more. <laughs> which is insane. But oh well. This is the only thing that I gotta say I don't like about this game sometimes. It's not the fun. I do like this game for some kind of reasons. Right, the bats in here will attack you when they notice you. You have to go up that path. Just gotta get out of the water first and then you can fight. Alright. So, do you want to change the bow this episode or. Uh, don't give him an inch, Ryan. My Let's not lose our heads, though. We make a great team. There you go. Put the gun in your back, please. Thank you. That took that long enough. Once you're schooling off, still, so. That's what happens when you finish a battle when she's cooling off, you have to like wait until the animation is done. Which is kinda annoying. Yeah, there are two more. Ah, ugh. We can definitely do this! And the thing is that they can be toppled, which I'm quite surprised to find out. This will leave a mark. Stay to Let's keep on going like this, guys. I think we need these bang note tubes for something. It's actually not a bad idea to fight them. And this right here can be a dangerous situation. So Metal Blast will actually be a lot of damage. You get three points. And, um... Uh, so good day. No! Oh, okay. Now, um, there are moments like this when you're gonna fight with which either the enemy or you yourself will just make it so you fall off. So, the AI of your partner is not always smart, and sometimes they like use arts right near an edge and then kill themselves, uh, or the other way around. Or, for instance, Ryan with his uh, sword drive can, like, has a lot of knockback that he deals, yeah. so the chance is very much there they will just knock an enemy off of a cliff. Then you need to farm, and then you don't get the item, of course. If they kill to themselves. White Radiant. Oh yeah, we actually need this for something. I think we just got the two items we needed for the main quest, because you see like the main quest on the map? We need two items for it, so we need to do some kind of a ritual before we can continue. And I think we just have the two items that we needed. <laughs> so, I, got the one, I got the other one last time. Yeah. Alright, continue the, uh, going down the river. Turn it to night again. Warlocks. This is like one of the best places to get them, so... You sure as hell want it to be night over here. And then we can end it off, a video of an hour and a half. We have 77 gigabytes left, I think. Yep. No, it's not a lot, is it? Not that much, but it's enough to make some Should be fine. I'm going for a way. No, no, you're going, oh. going the way I want you to go. This, yeah. like getting this item is also pretty important, then you can drop down. Now you're back in this place. Now usually when you reset the game, these items will all be respawned. <laughs> Alright, so... How about you end up right over here? Off camera, I'm gonna be farming items, because... Fucking Zinbeck Chronicles, that's why. Okay. And when I'm done, um, I will uh, start recording again. Are you? Are you? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. And goodbye. Goodbye!